Coral reefs are diverse marine ecosystems. Hard and soft corals have been in existence for over 200 million years, living in a delicately balanced world, relying on the interaction between habitat and its inhabitants. Coral reef systems are important. They protect the land from sea erosion. They support fish populations, offering protected areas for fish nurseries. They provide a source of food worldwide and bring tourism into remote areas of the world. In this exploded view of a section of the Great Barrier Reef, we see the coastal lands are bordered by the Barrier Reef. The reef shelf then gives way to the deep waters of the sea. Coral reefs can be seen from space and the Great Barrier Reef in Australia is the world's biggest single structure created by living organisms. Yet these reef systems themselves are made up of billions of tiny organisms known as coral polyps. The kinds of things that make a coral reef sick. Things like global warming from carbon emissions, chemical runoff of fertilizers and lawn treatments, construction that alters the landscape and increases population, indiscriminate fishing practices, untreated sewage and waste dumped into the sea. Now we know what coral reefs are and why they're important. We also know that many of them are becoming sick and dying. And it appears that human activities have a lot to do with this. So now let's take a look at how our research team is monitoring stress levels in coral reef fishes as an indicator of human impact.